my queen. Hello, sweeties. How are you today? I'm fantastic. A lot of people that know me know. Well, not a lot of people know me. <laughs> my family and my boyfriend know that I love breakfast food. <laughs> I love eggs, hash browns, sausage, biscuits, and gravy, and bacon on my ass. I love it all. And I also love Flaming Hot Cheetos and Doritos. So today, I'm putting them together and making a creation unlike... Well, someone's probably made this before, who knows? <laughs> but it's unlike anything we've ever seen. I'm gonna be making Flaming Hot Cheeto eggs and Dorito waffles. Now, I know that sounds gross, but it's gonna be a salty, savory waffle. It's not gonna be like a normal waffle. You're not gonna put syrup on this. It's gonna taste amazing. But the eggs, I'm not sure if they're gonna taste that good. We're just gonna have to see. I just don't know how an egg and Flaming Hot Cheetos flavors would go together, but I guess we're gonna find out. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna try all the food at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But until then, let's start this DIY oh wait <laughs> actually we're not starting yet before we get started <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it or if you're not enjoying it you should also give it a thumbs up let it be your good deed for the day and also subscribe if you want to become a tomato if you like flaming hot Cheetos you're gonna see a lot of that on my channel if you like cooking you're gonna see a lot of that on my channel if you like nipples you're not gonna see these because that's strictly for me I actually wear nipple pasties to the swimming pool <laughs> actually I wear a whole shirt <laughs> Okay, well, let's get started. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, so first we're gonna work on our waffle, y'all. I got my Doritos and of course my Ziploc. Oh, I think it just broke. Okay. Ugh. One Dorito for Daddy, aka me. <laughs> mm, iconic. I put the whole bag into the Ziploc. Zip it and start crushing away. <laughs> that was my workout for the month. Now, I don't mind if these Doritos are not completely crushed because I think that a little piece of crunchy Dorito would be really good in the waffle. Okay, I think that's good. So, as y'all know, this waffle is gonna be made out of potatoes, right? Now, once again, I don't think you guys want to see me chop and peel potatoes. So, I got these instead. They're like mashed potato potatoes that are like already mashable. You just have to microwave them. And it was buy one get one free. I don't even think I'm gonna need both, but <laughs> it was buy one get one free, so I had to jump on it. Okay, so I'm gonna microwave this for the time it says, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, so this took 10 minutes to cook, <laughs> which is kind of long, but it's easier than peeling and cutting potatoes, so I think it's worth it. Let's see how it looks. Uh, get out! Good. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Oh my god, wait. I've cut a bigger hole. Okay. Okay, yeah, those are pretty mashable looking. There's still a peel, y'all. It shows it's natural. Yes, I feel so vegan. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't have a masher, so I use an old whisk. And fun fact, that's why all my whisks are all bent. <laughs> So I'm just gonna mash this up until it's like a really nice consistency. And am I the only one that likes their potatoes a little lumpy? I like to find the occasional lump of, of tasteless potato. I actually like it, I don't know why. Oh y'all, on Thanksgiving I make the best potatoes of all time. Which this is kind of similar to, but next year I'ma add Doritos. <laughs> So now while it's still hot, I'm gonna add some butter because mashed potato type of stuff needs butter. So I'm just gonna drop this chunk in. Bam. Cover it up with these hot potatoes to make it like start melting. There you go. Oh, it's stuck on my whisk. <laughs> Get up! There we go. So just mash it up in there too. Okay, I think my butter is all the way melted. I don't see it anymore. I don't spot it. So now I'm gonna add a big blob of sour cream. Now, if y'all don't add sour cream into your potatoes, you are just doing everything wrong. I'm also gonna add salt, of course. That was a lot. <laughs> and pepper. Before I mix this up, I'm a chop, oh my God. <laughs> a cup just fell. I'm gonna chop up some fresh chives, cause I'm a real chef. And plus chives and mashed potatoes, oh my God, amazing. But they're kind of hard to chop up because it's just like, there's so many of them and it's like, 
it's a little stressful. Sometimes I smell like shit, but you don't care because I'm your queen, boo. If you don't know what chives are, I don't know who you are, but if you don't know what chives are, they're a little bit like onions. Like they have almost like an oniony flavor, but a lot tamer, and they taste really good in potatoes. You give me butterflies or diarrhea, I'm not sure to do. I should have gotten some cheese to put in this. I literally forgot cheese. Are you kidding me? Okay, I think that's enough. I'm just gonna put those in there. I'm also gonna add some orange food coloring. Now let's start mixing. Ooh, y'all, yes. Let me just say, this is gonna taste so good. Now, basically this is like what I make for um, Thanksgiving. I just add a little bit of milk and um, more like butter and sour cream. Like even more sour cream, y'all. I add a lot of sour cream. But with this, I have to keep it a little drier. Well, actually, I think it's a little too dry because I still have to add the <laughs> Doritos. Yeah, this definitely needs more sour cream. And to be honest, in mashed potatoes, the more sour cream, the better it tastes. I don't care if it's fattening or whatever. Cause you're my babe, five, eh, five. And now that it's almost all mixed up completely, our orange potatoes, we are gonna add Doritos, yes! Mix this together. And I'm hoping it'll make sort of like a doughy texture, I don't know. Oh my god, this smells so good. You are always in my head. So now, we cook them. Let me get my waffle iron. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug this in. And this thing always scares me because it literally turns on by itself. I don't know how. I guess though when you just plug it in, it's just on. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it with a good coating of Pam so nothing sticks. I don't know why, but making waffles makes me nervous, like cooking it. I just get paranoid. Okay, so I'm gonna take a scoop. Let's see. Should I put more? I don't know. And a scoop here. Now let's just close it. Oh, it's on, okay. Okay, mm, should I check them? Okay, they're looking like waffles. I don't think this one was full enough. Wait, hold on. And I will love you till the end When we're on with wrinkly necks Okay, go. Okay, now they're gonna look good. And now we're just waiting until they're crispy. Like my Do y'all see they're kind of leaking everywhere? Oh my god, it's like bubbling out. What is happening? Y'all see that? It's coming out like a piece of shit. Just breathe, let it out. Let it out! Oh my god, y'all can see my little feet. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. They're they're getting there. Just get crispy, please. I remembered I forgot an egg in here. An egg would have binded everything together more. Why did I forget an egg? Oh my god, I feel so stupid. Okay, so parts of them were getting kind of burnt, and I was like, okay, I think they're done. They feel a little harder than before, so I'm hoping that they come out when they cool. I think I'm gonna take them out when they cool. I want them to kind of like, you know, harden. So I'm gonna go make the egg. Come follow me, y'all. Y'all, I thought my camera was on, and <laughs> I already started crushing my Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> so sorry about that, but I'll crush a little more for you. When I see that cute smile, I queef and shit at the same time. Now, I was going to make scrambled eggs. That was my plan. But then I got this amazing idea though. What if I made a fried egg and the yolk was the flaming hot Cheeto part? I think that would be so cool. So much more fun. So I thought of a way. It's a little weird, but we're gonna do it. Now y'all, I don't want my um, egg yolk to be like lumpy and shit. So I'm gonna like put this through a strainer and I'm gonna just use like the fine powder of it. Okay, so let's see here. It's a little too fine. Look, it's literally just a dust. I need to use my big strainer. It just has bigger holes. Oh, a lot more is coming out now. Oh, perfect, that's all I need. <laughs> so now, I'm gonna take a couple eggs and I'm gonna separate them. Now, I think I showed y'all how to separate a couple videos ago, separate eggs, but I'll show you again. You basically just open it and then you just toss the yolk around from half to half and the whites will fall off like that, see? Okay, put the yolk in there, perfect. Perfect, bam. I'm gonna do one more. Now I'm gonna set my whites aside for after, and I'm gonna mix up my yolks. Gonna mix, mix, mix. Perfect, and now is the fun part. I'm gonna add the Flaming Hot Cheeto powder, probably like that much, let's see. 
Oh, I think I put too much. If I had to choose between Taco Bell and you. Okay, so it's literally turned into a flaming hot Cheeto paste. <laughs> And now, to give it that yolk shape, I'm actually gonna microwave it instead of like actually cook it. Because the bottom of these mugs are pretty good yolk shapes, like they're pretty circular. They're like good enough. And it's gonna keep that yolk shape while cooking it in the microwave. But of course, first we gotta pam it a lot. <laughs> and I'm just gonna scoop some into the bottom of each cup. So now I'm just gonna cook them in the microwave. I'm gonna keep an eye on them, probably about 30 seconds at a time until they look completely cooked through. I'll be back. So it literally took about 20 seconds and it's done. <laughs> and it smells weird, <laughs> like really weird. I'm gonna go do the other one now. They're both done and let's see how they look when we take them out. I pammed it a lot, so oh my God, they're coming out, okay. Ew, okay, this looks so weird. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> That's really thick. <laughs> Ew, oh my god. I don't know why this is so disgusting to me. I'm not excited to taste this. Okay, so we have two perfect yolks there. I'm shook. <laughs> and now it's time to make our whites. Let's move to the stove. Okay, so I'm gonna actually fry my whites. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. I'm gonna swoosh it around a little bit. They look yellow as hell. So obviously I didn't wait for the oil to heat up. I don't know why, but hot oil by itself really scares me. It's cooking up, it's cooking so good. You can see all the whites forming together to make a beautiful blob. What are these holes in between? What is that shit? That's not cute. Close them. I love my Taco Bell, but I pick you every time. Wait, it's getting all stuck. Oh my God. Why? Why me? I put oil, what the f Oh my God, that's so ugly, what is this? It's all holy. I'm not talking like a Lord Jesus holy, I'm talking like holy, it has holes. Maybe if I like put them on top of each other. And this was supposed to be the easy part. Okay, okay, I think I fixed it. Looks a little lumpy, but that's okay. Okay. Why does it look like one of those cloud eggs? <laughs> Anyone wanna clean this pan? <laughs> Cause I don't. <laughs> okay, so I thought the egg white would turn out bigger, but it didn't. <laughs> so I think that I can only use one of these little things. Yo, it looks oversized. What is this? Let me see if I can like, maybe cut it up or something. Let me see here. What can I do? Cause you're my bay five ever. So now it's a little yolk. Put that on there. Okay, that looks better. Put that on top. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll use that. And now let's get our waffles out of the waffle iron. Yes, they're still in there. They feel really crispy. Oh my God, it's kind of breaking. Okay, wait. Oh my God, they're coming off together. <laughs> they're coming together, y'all. Okay, whoa, that is crispy. <laughs> I'll use this side. Yay, they work! Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to taste this. What do you guys think? <laughs> Which is your favorite? You are always in my head. Okay, y'all, I am ready to eat. <laughs> okay, so I got my egg and I got my um, Doritos waffle here. I'm gonna first try the egg because I wanna save the best for last. I know this is gonna taste better, I just know it. Take some whites. The whites are weird even. What even happened? I'll take half of the yolk, which is really hard. It's microwaved. <laughs> and we are gonna taste it. Bon appetit, Katy Perry. That is dry as hell. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. It was very styrofoamy. There's a lot of like bubbles in the yolk. I don't know where that came from. Maybe the Cheetos farted. I would not suggest that, okay? Now I'm gonna taste the Dorito waffle. I'm really excited about this because I honestly think it's gonna taste really good. The outside is crispy. The inside is soft. It smells really good. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> that legit tasted like Doritos. The waffle really did give it a crispy outer part. Now I would have added some eggs to make it less dry and like bind it together more. And I probably would have added a little bit of flour just to make it a little more doughy, like a like a, like a waffle, but mashed potatoes also. But that's all that I would have changed. I think it was great. The egg is horrible, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, unless if it's like a YouTube challenge, like the flaming Hot Cheeto Egg Challenge. Make it happen. But overall, this was a great experience. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys next video. I love you so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh.